the Draggers Clubhouse in Burlington, Washington. We have a neat car to show you today. It's a 1970 four-owner Chevelle. We're going to take a look at this 1970 Chevelle. This is a four-owner car. I know the second owner. I don't know the third owner, but they're brothers. And I met the guy that owned it, Randy. He's the fourth owner. I don't know anything about the first owner. But that's kind of the history of this car. It's a local car. It's been right here in Mount Vernon area. And uh, it, all its whole life, it hasn't even been outside in the rain since 1977. That's what I was told. And I'm sure that's probably the case because it's an original paint car. Now I can find little spots you know in here and there in this in this paint because it hasn't been played with you can see how clean this is the underside now this hood they put this is a different hood so they repainted this hood and everything to match and they put the it's got the scoop on it backwards or whatever you want to call it but you can just see how nice this is it's got power brakes split brake system it's got it just had four-wheel disc brakes put installed on it so it's got all that has power steering this is the original matching numbers engine. This is the engine it came with. They put a new cam in this way back in the 70s. Uh, it's a Corvette cam. It's big a lift as they could get without having to go to solid lifters. It's got hydraulic lifters in it and everything. And of course, it's cold. You know, it's just cold as can be. There's the exhaust manifolds down there and everything. So I'm gonna go start it see how it starts. First cold start. This has it's got electric seats in it so I can go. I don't want all the directions I can go. Anyway here we go we're gonna start it. Oop, I gotta I forget you gotta put your foot on the clutch and push it all the way to the floor. So here we go. Now this thing's been sitting here. Outside you can see a lot of snow and everything on the ground, but so it's just in here and we haven't moved it. So, I want to show you a stunning automobile. This is a four-owner car. I know the second owner. He bought it in 1974. It's a 1970 Chevelle. And he sold it to his brother uh, shortly after that. He was started to use it as a family car. And he thought, this is not good. This is too nice a car to use as a family car. So he sold it to his brother. And after he sold it to his brother, him, him and uh, his brother worked on this thing. They put a Corvette cam in here. They, they took the seats out, and it's got Grand Prix, Pontiac Grand Prix seats in here, front and back. So it's got electric seat on the uh, driver's side there. And this car, it's original paint. What you're looking at here is original paint. 
but you can't look at the hood because that's been repainted. So everything here, this is a brand new hood that they put on with a scoop on there. Uh, and uh, so they got that on there and they painted this hood. So, I mean, the rest of this car is just totally original on the paint. It's never been painted. This thing hasn't set in the rain, been out in the rain or driven in the rain since 1977. I think that's when uh, the brother got it and stuff. The last owner, he put four wheel disc brakes on this thing. So it's got all brand, this is all brand new on the wheels and the tires and stuff and, and everything. And I, this is another one of those cars. I'm not gonna be able to show you anything bad that I know of. Oh, the, right here. Right here, there's a little ding in this piece of chrome. I forgot about that. And I don't know if you gotta get in the right light to see it probably. Anyway, I have the other piece of chrome here. He, he had a piece that he got and gave it to me, but I'm not gonna put it on. And you can see the top up here. It all looks really good, everything. You know, I can see little issues here and there, but they're minor and they don't hardly show up. I mean, it's not like a scratch or a chip or anything else like that, but there is some showing stuff in there. But look at this. This door is nice and clean. This whole car has just been kept. It's got 94,000 original miles on it. It's got a tilt wheel in it. Oh, and this car is kind of rare too because it, uh, it, it was a, would have been a uh, bench seat in here but uh, it, it was ordered with bucket seats in it. So they took these, the bucket seats out and the back seat out and put these Grand Prix Pontiac seats in here. So they're leather. And we also know somewhere right in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. See, it goes up. So you get it and back. And of course you push that. You can see the backs of these seats are nice. Interior is nice. Also, back up there in the center, that's not a that's not a speaker. That's a defroster. Is what that is. So that's a rare item on on this car. Having that, I, not that it makes a big deal to me, but you got a tilt wheel. So that all tilt, and it's a four-speed. It's got a little console in there, and it opens up, and uh, you can see how nice that dash is. Headliner. It's all all in great shape. And I was going to get the keys out of here. Oop. So, I mean, you can just see. And again, window cranks up good. The vent, the vent is right here where it's supposed to be. In the dash. So there's the vent for you. So the other thing I like on this car, well, I wasn't, that was not quite hard enough, I guess, <laughs> but you can, you can see it doesn't take anything to close the door. And look down, just get back and look down the sides. It might be better this way, get the light coming in. Turn around and go back with it. Look up there. And I, you know, all this is good. Everything, everywhere you look on this car, is, it's a beautiful car. You will not be ashamed to own this car. Now the chrome on the front bumper and the rear bumper, you know, they're original bumpers on here. Oh, and there's a dent right there. I found this, I found something right there. So. Well, I guess. There we go. So you can see it's still got the uh, jack deal on there. That's old. So it, you know, I just the way it came from the factory, I would tell you this trunk. I don't think anything's been done with it. I do not know where this, what this is. It came with it. It's in here. The spare tire. It's just a spare tire. Is all it is. It's just a wheel. But it's. It doesn't look like it's been used. And even got a frisbee in here. A Malibu frisbee and the Stanwood car show thing and there's a model that goes with it and you can see all 
all this looks. Oh, like this is oil I got with it. So you can see, this is all good in here. Could use a little gray spackle paint right there, probably. But you can just see it's all nice. This this is just a nice. It's a really clean, nice, solid car. Oop. Close is good. Again, you can see all this side here is all really good. All this looks all real good everywhere you look on this car. Just straight and nice. I mean, where are you going to find one any better? It unless you got a trailer queen that's been a couple hundred thousand spent on it to make it a show car. Because I don't, I just, this thing just really, really nice. And you can see this door panel's good. Door jams are clean and everything. Look at the dash pad, all looks good. It, and it's got the, where it says Red Dog in there. That was where the uh, ra original radio was. And they got the one below uh, the dash there. See, you can see the headliner from this side all looks really good. I would say there's a little fade in the carpets, but I don't really even mess with them. I, I just kind of noticed it back there on the hump there a bit. And again, window goes up and down real good. And as I was sitting there looking, and there's a little spot of something right there. Looks like it was almost a chip and was uh, brush touched right there. I do not know. Anyway. That's what you see on this car. And again, doors close great. You can just see all this down, all this along here, everywhere you look. I don't know what that is. Anyway, there's a little spot right there. There's a chip right there. So I did find a couple of things on here for you. But I don't know where you're going to find anything any nicer than this. And again, as I was talking about, you can kind of see that it's, you know, a fresh bumper would really brighten this thing up, but it's an original right now. It's just the way it came from the factory. I'm going to walk under the 70 Chevelle and show you how nice it is underneath. It's got a new gas tank underneath it. Exhaust tips were just done recently these rear quarter panels are in good shape the paint's kind of discolored just from road wear probably but all the metal under this car is really good this quarter right here has got a little bit of a crusty spot right here but i mean it's solid so anyway i just wanted to show you that but you know good those tires are they got lots of tread on them got air ride shocks four-wheel disc brakes got a 12 bolt rear end with a nice chrome cover on it disc brakes the rear end's all nice and painted got nice brake lines coming over the top there with go up and show you the floor pans up here they're all nice and solid it's got like glass packs or cherry bomb mufflers. This thing sounds great too. It's just a neat car. I mean, it runs well, sounds good, drives nice. It's had a good life. I mean, you can see that everything's undercoated, but we didn't find anything that looks soft anywhere. I mean, everything solid, frame straight. Well, I could have cleaned on that rocker a little bit better, but anyway, it's all solid. There's no, no bubbles in it anywhere. The exhaust is older i don't know when this exhaust was done but those tips on the back are the newest thing on the exhaust system but you can see this rocker's in good shape the frame's nice and straight on this side too get up here to the four speed transmission it looks like it's brand new I and mean, i don't know if it's been out of the car recently but it's nice and clean no oil dripping out of it or anything this car has been sitting on the lift for oh, a couple of days, uh, probably since 
Thursday of last week and it's, it's Monday and I don't see any oil dripping anywhere after it's been sitting here. I mean, even on the oil pan on the engine, it's all dry. I mean, look how clean it is. There's no oil leaks up in there either. I mean, this car's tight all the way around. You can see the framework up in here. I mean, it's all straight. Tires are like new up front too. Got a heat shield on the starter to protect it from the exhaust. Looks like a, a new fuel pump. It's nice and shiny. There's the power steering box right there. Anyway, it's a nice clean car all the way around, top to bottom. It's not a show car, but it is dang nice. This is one stunning automobile you'll be proud to own. Give us a call, 206-533-9600.